In this video, we'll look at the mole. So the mole, which is sometimes abbreviated to MOL, is a unit of measurement used to measure the amount of a chemical substance. One mole of a substance contains the same number of atoms as there are in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12. The number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12 is equal to Avogadro's constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. As you can see, Avogadro's constant is a very large number. One mole of any substance contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles, that's atoms, ions or molecules. Next we'll have a look at some examples using the mole concept. So the first example is, how many oxygen atoms are there in one mole of ethanoic acid? Ethanoic acid has the formula CH3COOH, and here's the structural formula for ethanoic acid. So as you can see, one molecule of ethanoic acid has two oxygen atoms. But the question is asking how many oxygen atoms are there in one mole of ethanoic acid? So one molecule of ethanoic acid has two oxygen atoms, one here and one here. So one mole of ethanoic acid is equal to Avogadro's number of molecules. Remember that a mole of anything has Avogadro's number of particles, so that's ions, atoms or molecules. In this case, it's molecules. So if we talk about a mole of ethanoic acid, one mole of ethanoic acid has two times Avogadro's number of oxygen atoms. And when we multiply Avogadro's number by two, we end up with 1.20 times 10 to the 24 oxygen atoms. Let's try another example. How many carbon atoms are there in 0.500 moles of propanone? Propanone has the formula CH32CO, and here's the structural formula of propanone. So as you can see, one molecule of propanone has three carbon atoms. That's one, two, three. But the question is asking for moles of propanone, so we have to remember that one mole of propanone is equal to Avogadro's constant molecules of propanone. So therefore, 0 0.500 moles of propanone has, and this is the calculation, 0 0.500 times 3, because there are three carbon atoms in a molecule, and then we multiply by Avogadro's constant to get 9.03 times 10 to the 23 carbon atoms in 0 0.500 moles of propanone. So let's look at the next example. How many hydrogen atoms are contained in one mole of ethanol, which is C2H5OH? So one molecule of ethanol has six carbon atoms, but the question's asking for one mole. So one mole of ethanol has six times Avogadro's constant of hydrogen atoms, and that equals 3.6 times 10 to the 24 hydrogen atoms. So here we have another example. What is the total number of nitrogen atoms in two moles of NH4NO3, which is ammonium nitrate? So one molecule of ammonium nitrate has two nitrogen atoms. So two moles of ammonium nitrate has four times Avogadro's constant because we have two nitrogen atoms per molecule and the question is asking for two moles. So that's why we multiply by four. So the answer there is 2.40 times 10 to the 24 nitrogen atoms. Okay, so let's move on to the next example. How many oxygen atoms are there in 0 0.20 moles of ethanoic acid? So one molecule of ethanoic acid has two oxygen atoms. One mole of ethanoic acid has two times Avogadro's constant of oxygen atoms, which equals 1.20 times 10 to the 24 oxygen atoms. But the question is only asking for 0 0.20 moles of ethanoic acid, so we divide our answer from here, which is 1.20 times 10 to the 24. We divide that by 0 0.20, and that equals 2.4 times 10 to the 23 oxygen atoms, and that's in 0 0.20 moles of ethanoic acid. The next question involves mass. So what is the mass in grams of one molecule of ethane, which is C2H6? 
So one mole of ethane contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules of ethane. The molar mass of ethane is 30.08 grams per mole. So therefore one molecule of ethane has a mass of, and we divide the molar mass of ethane divided by Avogadro's constant, and that gives us 5.00 times 10 to the negative 23 grams. Our last two examples involve ions. So which contains the same number of ions as the value of Avogadro's constant, which we know is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So let's look at A, 0.5 moles of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is composed of Na plus and Cl negative ions, so we multiply the 0.5 by 2 to give us 1 mole of ions, and 1 mole of ions equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23 ions. Well, that's the correct answer, but let's look at B, C, and D. So B is 0.5 moles of magnesium chloride. Magnesium chloride is composed of one Mg2 plus ion and two Cl negative ions. So we multiply this 0.5 by three to give us 1.5 moles of ions, which equals 9.03 times 10 to the 23 ions. Next is C, one mole of sodium oxide. So Na2O, sodium oxide, is composed of two Na plus ions and one O2 negative ion. So we multiply this one by three to give us three moles of ions, and we multiply the three times Avogadro's constant to give us 1.80 times 10 to the 24 ions. And finally D, one mole of magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide is composed of Mg2 plus and O2 negative ions. So we multiply this one by two to give us two moles of ions, and we multiply Avogadro's constant by two, so that gives us 1.20 times 10 to the 24 ions. So here the correct answer is A. And finally, Avogadro's constant has the same value as the number of A, molecules in one mole of solid iodine. So one mole of iodine molecules equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So A is the correct answer. But let's look at B, C, and D. So B is atoms in one mole of chlorine gas. So chlorine gas is a diatomic gas, which means that one molecule consists of two atoms. So we multiply this one by two, and then we multiply the two times Avogadro's constant to give us 1.20 times 10 to the 24 chlorine atoms. C is ions in one mole of solid potassium bromide. Potassium bromide consists of K plus and Br negative ions. So we multiply this one by two to give us two moles of ions. And again, we multiply that by Avogadro's constant to give us 1.20 times 10 to the 24 ions. And finally D, protons in one mole of helium gas. So helium has the atomic number of two. So that means an atom of helium has two protons. So therefore we multiply this one by two to give us two moles of protons. And then we multiply that two by Avogadro's constant to give us 1.20 times 10 to the 24 protons. So again, the correct answer here is A.